to be in an atmosphere that is free, that is open, that is striving for truth, and not somebody else dictating to you how to do your thing, which you know how to do better than anybody else. Good example.
Are you ready for the good stuff? Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff, good stuff, good stuff, good stuff, good stuff.
your party people, you know we made it through some hard times. If it wasn't for the music, I don't know what we'd do. You know the music stepped in and saved my life. You know the music stepped in and saved my life. I gotta thank God for the music. We gotta spread this message to the party people all over the world. The world. The world. The world. The music. Hey yo, party people, you know we made it through some hard times. If it wasn't for the music, I don't know what we'd do. You know the music stepped in and saved my life. You know the music stepped in and saved my life. I gotta thank God for the music. We gotta spread this message to the party people all over the world.
darkness, which if you have that funny, terrible thing which every artist can recognize and no artist can define, you are responsible to those people to lighten that darkness and it does not matter what happens to you. You are being used in the way a crab is useful, the way sand certainly has some function. It is impersonal, this force which you didn't ask for, and this destiny which you must accept, is also your responsibility, and if you survive it, if you don't cheat, if you don't lie, it is not only, you know, your glory, your achievement, it is almost our only hope. Only an artist can tell, and only artists have told, since we have heard of man, what it is like for anyone who gets to this planet to survive it. What it's like to die, or to have somebody die. What it's like to fear death. What it's like to fear. What it's like to love. What it's like to be glad. Hymns don't do this. Churches really cannot do it. The trouble is that although the artist can do it, the Christ yes, can himself that the audience will also pay his willingness to give up everything to realize that although you spent 27 years acquiring this house.
life I've been doing is always a social kind of thing. And now that I look back in retrospect, I know that whenever I was unhappy or not feeling well or depressed, I would dance. And uh, I usually dance around a table, you know, and now that I know more, I have more knowledge, you know, the, the, the concept of dancing around the table, the table, circle.
sermon. But said, uh, today, brothers and sisters, said, uh, I'm not going to do the sermon about Easy Street. He said, uh, in fact, what I think I'll do is we'll pass the plate, and then next week we'll have our regular service and a matinee. He <laughs> said, uh, but we are going to pass the plate. So they shot the plate around the room, and the plate came back. Reverend Leroy dismissed everybody. Then he called his deacon aside. He said, uh, Deke said, uh, why don't you go home and get your record class and read Charles Records? I got some sandwiches, and we'll go up to the haunted house and have us a little party. <laughs> so Deke said, yeah. <laughs> so Deke ran home, got a drink and play, and old Rev got the sandwiches, and he had a little flask. I don't know what was in the flask. I assume it was the second. Uh, the wine? Yeah, I guess. Sacred wine. Sacred wine? Yeah. No, it was regular wine. He didn't get it out of no sacred liquor store. <laughs> So they go up to the haunted house, you know, and they walk in, and there's a lot of weird sounds in the haunted house. 